Hello everyone. Hope y'all are doing well. This is just a short video. Just been uh, busy on doing other things and we had a state sale at my parents' home, you know, after their passing. Just trying to get the house for sale and things like that. And plus, I've been working on other animatronics. You know, I have a couple other pieces, personal pieces I'm doing for people, like this big piece here. But, you know, I, I work with these beams, and these beams are from Servo City. There's a hole every uh, eight millimeters, a four millimeter hole. But, uh, and these servos here is for a, a mouth mech. And they have a, you know, their, their plug right there is too close to the tab, mounting tab. And I didn't like that too well. But, but this is what I've been working on. This is the animatronic we're working on. But I've been working on this, this big boy right here. And this, this animatronic here has a lot of beams. And most of it is beams. And just, you know, using the beams as support of the 3D printed pieces. But, you know, I make pieces for certain people. You know, I got, t like, two people. I've been working on this piece for over a year, but this is a big boy. I mean, this thing's, like, 24 servos, and, and I'm just trying to work out the weight and the structure, and I have to have torque on this on this gimbal design here to lift this animatronic. Plus, you, you need to make sure that you have support to the metal beams, and it would be able to lift it without distorting any of these beams. You know, it's like, you know holding a, a sledgehammer on a rod make sure it don't bow or bend you know you have to have you know brackets in place and and how long these beams need to be to be able to connect to the skull pieces and things like that but you know it's it's a fun project but it is kind of time consuming because you have to work out certain things but you know once again i've been working on our animatronic 3d printed creature here and working on the skin and making sure that everything you know everything has to be pretty precise on this because i don't want to go too thin and i don't want to go too thick and like right here i'm blocking this area out here to make sure i don't move that area because i want it to be able to connect to that core base plate that way it it i won't have any you know uh differences there on moving that part of the of the sculpture but uh you know it's just kind of designing the creature and i don't really want to make it too humanized but yet i don't want it to make it too cartoony either but uh you know just and i'm sculpting on lower poly right now it's not even half a million but uh i just uh just changing the nose just trying to get a different look and and just trying to get, you know, satisfied on what I think it should look like. And just once again, we got to take this off of the core and don't want to make it too thin and tear it. But, you know, I, I do other things. I do thousands. I've had thousands of designs that I've saved and says, wow, I'm going to use this movement, you know, like this baby here. You know, I have a, a, a woman that's going to do the sculpture and she's doing it with clay, but I want to make sure that I match her clay sculpture with my with with my animatronic and i'm digital and she's clay and i want to join the two together and i'm waiting for a scanner so i can join these two pieces together and that way i can manipulate my sculpture or my digital scan or my digital uh animatronic to, to her baby inside to make a skin you know thickness and like on these pieces here, I've done these several years ago. And it's just uh, a lot of research and development and, and see, well, that, I mean, this is a, a lip with pucker movement. So it's a, a realistic, you know, animatronic look, you know, trying to, trying to get more realism. But, you know, I design, you know, you know, you order a servo and you design it and, Let's see if we can make a new movement and and add different uh, levers and levers and gears or whatever. But, you know, I've made so many of these things and just trying to, you know, uh, you know, I'll remember a piece that I did several years ago and say, well, we're going to try that method. And, and, you know, I know people like to want a minute to minute detail procedure, but yet I know some people that, you know, 
like this kind of a, you know, they do this kind of work too. And But, I mean, I worked on this little piece about five years ago, but it had a lot of pieces to it. But, but you know, it's fun. It's, it's a pleasure. It's how I like to relax and doodle, design things. And, and I want you all to be a part of it and hope you all like this. Just wanted to make a short video and, and hope you all like. Thanks, y'all.